Welcome back. Okay, so um, our producer, Stuart, found this obituary and uh, thought it was worth talking about. I think so, too. So this woman, her name is Tony, Tony LaRue. Part of her obituary said she'll be remembered for her loyalty to Waffle House, the joking possibility that she may have had illegitimate children, and her uncanny ability to usher family pets to heaven at an unrivaled pace. Oh. <laughs> and it talks about um, her ex-husband, from whom it should not be difficult to imagine the multiple reasons for their divorce, a collection of overdue library books. Her last words were, tell the library the check is in the mail, and a treasure <laughs> collection of patio furniture from the dollar store. And her children are the ones who wrote this, thinking that they would write something in the style that most represented her, which was uh, an unbelievable sense of humor and just a lightness about her. And that, you know, my sister is a um, mortician, by the way. Really? Yeah, and she'll be here this week. She's coming in, Stuart, How just so you know. How do we not know that? Well, that's we're getting to know each other, right? <laughs> so my sister's a mortician, and so more people now are writing their own obituaries. Wait, do they say mortician or do they say funeral director? Or is that two different things? There's two different things. The so mortician to, is the person that makes the body fancy, right? <laughs> the cremates. <laughs> like, it's like the makeup I mean, artist the, for the dead body. <laughs> well, you she have to have a license. The body. Right. right, she does both, but you have to have a license to actually embalm a body, but then you can be a funeral home director and actually just direct funerals okay. and help set up funerals. So anyway, she does both. And um, she says more, many more people now are starting to come in and plan their own funerals. They're writing their own obituaries. I mean, they're deciding what songs they want to have at their funeral. Yeah. They're planning it all out ahead of time. I think I would plan a huge party. A oh, big I cocktail want a huge party, party for sure. Me too. I want to celebrate. When I get lowered into that ground, it's like drop it like it's hot. Like <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I said I want great music. I don't want it sad. I don't want, you know, I definitely don't want to be cremated. Who, I told my family, do not burn who me. Who would I let pick out my outfit? That's a That's big the, responsibility. You gotta pick it out now. Pick it you out now. Have to have it planned. Pick it out now. Because okay. guess what? We all gonna die. It's, that's one thing. Just don't let Kim Kardashian pick out Tamala. my outfit. Tamala's laughing. Tamala Man is here. We gonna all die. It's it's we gonna all. That's the bottom line. So you might as well go ahead and plan the outfit. Decide how you want to be remembered. Look at Tamala. Decide how you want to be remembered because it's gonna what happen. You want, what's the funniest thing you would want people to say about you? The funniest thing? Like what? What do you think? Like those quirky little idiosyncrasies about each one of y'all. What are the funny idiosyncrasies that you think? If someone was making a humorous like obituary or eulogy, like to me they would be like lover of hairspray, guacamole, never met a high heel she didn't like, oh. or a cute boy with See, dimples. Like they'd say y'all didn't know the real Pat because if you go to her house, she usually has on a, a, a bonnet, bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> no makeup, and her slippers. That's all I want. When I go home, you come oh, to my house. Me too. I have on my bonnet and my slippers, and people are like, "Girl, I had no idea." Same like, with yeah. me. We've talked about this. First thing I do when I'm done with work is I go home oh, and I put wash on my sweats, all my makeup, I take off the makeup, I put the hair in a ponytail, and yeah. Except I leave my lashes on so I can wear them the next day. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's and not that, it's not that hard just to, to re-glue them on. And how to be naturally on. beautiful by Pat Smith. Yeah, <laughs> just keep the lashes on. Save them. No, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what people would say. I'm really not sure. I mean, I think they would say I'm a good mom, hopefully. Well, that's not But you love wine. No, that's that's not, not funny. funny. Oh, they would say, <laughs> yeah, that, Something that, we don't know. Yes. They would say, yes, that her love of wine was unrivaled, probably. Did you have a nickname? Did I have a nickname? No. No nickname? No. God, what, do you have it's a nickname? Really boring. Um, Patty Melt. <laughs> oh, I <love> it. <laughs> When That's I was cute. probably like in my early 20s, one of my guy friends nicknamed me Little Bunny Court Court. I don't like a Little Bunny Foo Foo. God, I hope you're not still talking. No, to but him. no, but so some people still call me Bunny or Little Bunny. I can see that. And my ex boyfriend, he would actually call me Bunny. Like that was our nick, like our pet names for yeah. each other. So when people call me Bunny now, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've hung up that single girl. I'm much more mature and sophisticated now. Oh. I never had a cute nickname. I've always That's been not a Lisa. Cute I've always had Lisa P. Mm -hmm. Or my full name's Melissa, actually, and then so Lisa's the nickname. It's not minutes. cute. My yeah. uncle calls me two minutes. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there in two minutes? No, because when I was little, I was so busy and very hyperactive, and they said I couldn't sit still for two minutes. So to this day, he's like 88 or 89, he calls me two minutes. Aww. Yeah. Yes, Keith just reminded me of Lisa Lisa and the Colt Jam. Every oh, Lisa, girl Lisa. named Lisa gets that one. Lisa, what Lisa. is that? I don't even Lisa, know what Lisa that means. Lisa Lisa and the Colt Jam? What? You don't remember Lisa? Oh, she's I a little bit younger. She's younger than us. Yeah, yeah girl. girl. Oh, judge me now. <laughs>